Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your daily quickie. Um, this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and this is going to be for Cancer versus all 12 signs for May 9th. Um, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Um, these readings are not timestamped, so a special shout out and thank you to anyone that does post the timestamps below. You are very much appreciated. Um, anything that you could possibly need, guys, is in the description box below okay so just check it out there's a whole bunch of stuff down there all right so let's get started so we're going to be doing cancer versus earth signs water signs fire signs air signs daily collective message daily career and daily singles okay so let's get popping spirit tell me about cancer please cancer sun moon rising venus Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer versus all 12 signs in love for May 9th, please, Spirit. Tell me about Cancer, please, versus all 12 signs for May 9th in love, please, Spirit. Cancer versus all 12 signs for May 9th in love. Okay. So we are starting with Cancer dealing with a Virgo. Okay, we've got the Page of Cups. We've got the Seven of Wands. We have Temperance. And we've got the King of Swords. Okay, so this could mean a couple of things, Cancer. So what we, the first thing that I see here is someone may be coming in with an apology, wanting forgiveness, wanting to overcome problems and situations. The problem with that is cancer. When you're coming in as a king of swords energy, it could be someone here has ulterior motives or it's a strategy or a plan of some sorts. It's not because of love or because they truly want forgiveness. Now, another thing I'm picking up on is that perhaps an apology is coming in and you're just tired of hearing the excuses. You're in peace, you're happy, and you have learned to defend and protect yourself, okay? If we're dealing with a Capricorn, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups, very nice. We've got the Justice card. And we've got the Eight of Wands. Ooh, so guys, some of you might be planning a wedding, okay? Um, some of you may be going to the Justice of the Peace. There may be a lot of people talking about this. Um, so for for the Cancer and Capricorns I'm reading for, you guys have some a, a lot of people getting involved talking about a wedding, going to the Justice of the Peace, talking about how somebody has finally decided to do right by you. It's a really beautiful reading for Cancer and Capricorn. Um, if we're dealing with a Taurus, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. And we've got the Knight of Swords. Ooh with the six of swords. Okay. So cancer, if you're dealing with a Taurus and things have not been going well between you and the Taurus, this person is rushing back in. Okay. I feel like maybe you guys were very nasty with each other, or maybe had a very bad falling out of some sorts, but I feel like it's going to be water under the bridge. I feel like this is going into a more peaceful place. There's going to be commitment and long-term stability. If we're dealing with another cancer, we've got the star card. We've got the King of Cups, Cancerian Energy. We've got the Six of Pentacles and we have the Six of Wands. Okay, so Cancer, if you are dealing with another Cancer, I do believe that this person truly wants healing in their heart. <laughs> <laughs> this is someone that feels the same way about you. Love is reciprocated here, okay? And with that Six of Wands energy, they either want to win your heart or this person wants you put wants to put you up high. Like they want to make you very public. They want they, they want to scream it from the rooftops that you guys are together. So they want to show you off to friends, to family, to whatever else, okay? So that's also a beautiful reading. These readings are awesome today, guys. If we're dealing with a Pisces, we've got the Seven of Cups. We have the death card. We've got the seven of pentacles and we've got the queen of cups, Piscean Cancerian energy. <clears throat> Cancer, if you're dealing with a Pisces, um, 
I feel that it could be that there's a lot of people talking to this Pisces about past behavior and how things need to change. Like if they love you with that Queen of Cups energy, um, that they need to change their ways because there may be a history here. Like I feel like friends and family members are going over with this person. Well, do you remember when you did this? You remember when you did that? You got to change these behavior patterns. Like people are talking to this person. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, we've got the Hermit card. We have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Two of Swords, and we've got the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so Cancer, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this is somebody that is trying to think about how to come in to apologize to you, um, but they're not doing it. They're not doing it. This person may have fear. They might not be doing it because they don't know what's going to happen. Now, for others of you, this could be someone that has a crush on you, a friend possibly, and they're thinking about coming forward, but they're too scared to. Like, this is someone that either wants to apologize or they want to come forward and ask you out on a date but they're holding back out of fear okay if we're dealing with a leo we've got the nine of swords we have the tower we've got the page of wands and we've got the sun card okay someone here is about to get a message and their whole world is going to come crashing down cancer Okay, I don't know if it's you receiving this message. I don't know if it's your Leo receiving this message, but something is about to come to light. Okay, something's about to come to light um, and it's just going to cause a tower. It's going to cause someone to break down, whether it be emotionally or whatever. It's just the carpet is being swept, take, pulled up from someone's feet. What What is that saying? Like, it's just going to knock someone on their butt. Okay. Um, all right. If we're dealing with a Sagittarius, we've got the three of swords. We have the five of cups. We have the wheel of fortune and we've got the ace of cups. Okay. So Cancer, if you're dealing with a Sag, this person may have hurt you hardcore. Okay. And they regret it. They regret it. Um, this has taught them some serious lessons. So they are coming forward offering you their heart, okay, with that Ace of Cups. Um, and that heart would belong to you and only you. So if there was a third party or whatever this person did to hurt you, Cancer, they have learned a major lesson from it. And they're never going to do it again, as far as I can see. If we're dealing with an Aries, we've got the Chariot. We have the Magician. We've got the three of pentacles and we've got the five of wands. Okay, so Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries, I feel like this person's about to take some really quick action. They want to come towards you. They want to work it out. This person's willing to put their all in. Okay, that magician card in a love reading, it doesn't always just talk on manipulation. That magician has all four suits in it. Okay, it's got the cup. It's got the pentacle. It's got the wand. It's got the sword. So someone's coming in to bring everything to the table. They want to work it out. Okay, with the five of wands, though the problem here is is that um you know they may have to really fight for this or it could be or it could be that when they finally come back around towards you there may be other competition in the picture if we're dealing with an aquarius we've got the six of cups we have the empress we have the devil and we've got the world card okay so cancer this could have been a past life karmic OK, this could be a past life karmic that you're leaving behind because it's super toxic. Um, you're realizing your worth here and you're pulling away. This could be um, that you've got an ex-husband or an ex-wife that's looking at your life right now that you've ascended to Empress level and they're very jealous. It could. And that's the one that I'm really feeling the hardest. I feel like this could be an ex-wife, an ex-husband, or just an ex-lover. Um, and this is somebody that closed out a cycle with you and they're seeing your glow up and it's just, oh, it's burning them up. Okay. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the Knight of Wands. We have the King of Wands. We've got the Moon card. 
and we've got the strength card. Okay. So cancer, if you're dealing with a Gemini, I do feel like this person comes off as committed to you, but behind the scenes, they are doing things that they are not supposed to be doing. Okay. They are doing things that they're not supposed to be doing. Um, and this person, to be honest with you, they have what it takes to do this. What I mean by that is they're very good at balancing both things. They're very good at making you believe that everything's okay. And they're all, and, and they can like, you wouldn't know with that moon card, like you're not suspecting of the fact that they're doing this. This person does have what it takes to do that. So you may be unsuspecting of this happening. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the eight of cups. We've got the ace of swords. We have the nine of cups and we've got the judgment card. Okay. So cancer, if you're dealing with a Libra, I feel like you're having a sit down with this person and you're saying, I honestly, really, truly, honestly, I'm not even playing because I honestly, truly, and honestly just want to leave now. <laughs> That's what you're telling this Libra. You're like, I'm, I'm not even playing with you. I'm making a final judgment call. I'm serious. I don't want this anymore. And I'm telling you this honestly, really, truly, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, truly, I want to go now. <laughs> That's what you're telling this Libra. Okay. Um, daily collective message. We've got the high priestess. We have the eight of pentacles. We have the 10 of wands and we've got the 10 of swords. Okay. So cancer, first thing I'm picking up here specifically for those of you who are trying to start a tarot channel, or for those of you that are trying to get into, um, you know, uh, spiritual healing, whether it's, you know, being a medium or being clairvoyant or whatever you feel you're gifted in. Okay. And I know because I have, you know, we've all went through this. We've all went through this. Um, and this is something that a lot of people don't understand because they see tarot readers, you know, like what I'm doing right now, we laugh, we joke and everything else. It is not an easy job. Okay. Spiritual ascension is painful. It hurts. It's, it's, you know, with the 10 of wands, it becomes extremely overwhelming at times. And some of you may be thinking, I can't do this anymore. Cause I've got, I've got the knives hitting me in the front knives hitting me in the back. When I first got into tarot, I used to wake up in the middle of the night with severe nightmares that have you ever seen the zombie movies where the person is standing and all the zombies are clawing at them? Um, because I was so overwhelmed with work and everybody had a question and everybody needed an answer. And so many many people need help and healing and they're crying and they're upset and you want to help everybody. Um, and not to mention the headaches, the physical fatigue. Um, you know, so there may be some of you that are really trying to make it work. Do you see what I'm saying? And then on top of all the spiritual problems, then you have to deal with, you know, being a, a YouTube reader, you have to deal with technical issues. You have to deal with YouTube. You have to deal with Google. You have to deal, you know, then, because then on top of it, I mean, it's a business off to the side. Also, let's just be real. This is a business. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my company is an LLC. I mean, this is what I do for work. It's my career. So not only do you have to deal with the spiritual aspect of it, but then you have to deal with the career aspect of it. And then you have to deal with your daily life. And it could, it could feel like you've got swords coming at you from every single direction. Okay. Every single direction. And I also want to mention, I don't even have small children. I know plenty of tower readers that do have small children and it's hard. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be really hard. So that is the first thing that I'm picking up on here. Um, I feel like spirit is telling you not to give up. It will get better. Okay. It will get better, even though it feels like it's not going to. We've got the Knight of Cups and we have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre Empress Energy. So specifically for people that are going through this, I feel like with that Knight of Cups energy, this is the, the divine sending you that loving message that eventually with that Nine of Pentacles, Pre Empress Energy, you will get there. This business will be financially stable for you. You will be independent. You won't feel as tormented as much because it does get easier. It does get easier. Easier. The problem is you have to remember you're going to level up at points. So some it's just it'll get easier and then it, spiritual ascension hits again and you go through a really hard time and then it gets easier again. It's like you it's like growing pains. You see what I'm saying? So specifically for the people that are going through that, that's the message. Now, for people that are not going through that, for people that are not going through any form of spiritual ascent, you know, for people that are not opening YouTube channels or getting into tarot, um, I feel like 
Cancer, you are in a place right now where you're being quiet. You're trying, there's an ending that's taking place here. And it's a very difficult ending for you. Okay, this is this is a rough one. Whatever ending this is, this is a rough one. And I feel like instead of you being in an energy of, well, they did this to me and how could they do that to me? Instead of you pointing the blame and like just throwing everything on the other person, you're actually becoming ascended enough to ask yourself, what was the lesson in all of this? Why did this happen to me? What did I need to learn? OK, and I feel that by asking those questions, you're going to go to pre empress energy. Eventually, you will become independent of all of this. Your heart's not going to hurt. Nothing is going to hurt. You're, you're going to find that little by little, you're going to wake up every day and it's not going to matter to you as much. And that's because you're asking why uh, did this happen to me opposed to why did you do this to me? Do you understand? Um, with the Knight of Cups, I do see that you have people that love you, that care for you you that are going to uh, help in your healing process could be cancer scorpio or pisces okay all right so moving on to cancer career we've got the eight of swords we have the five of swords we have the nine of wands and we've got the lover's card. Again, I'm going to go back to people that are starting YouTube channels or that are starting to read cards, okay? With the Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords, this is you feeling like you are just in prison. Like it's going to feel a little torturous at first. You may want to walk away, but I feel like Spirit is telling you instead of walking away, you need to start protecting your, your energy, okay? Because what a lot of people don't realize is when you start reading Tarot, I don't know why this is coming up so strong in this reading someone may have to know you know need to hear this but what you don't realize is when you start reading tarot your seventh chakra opens up very wide and if you and don't forget what that means is it's not just your angels getting in there it's not just your divine you know spirit guides getting in there all types of stuff come in you know if you open your front door you know what I'm saying? Everything will come in. Good, bad, ugly. So you need to learn how to protect that. How to say, nope, you're not, you do not enter. You're okay. You got to go. It's like a full-time job, but you have to learn how to protect yourself against the snakes that are trying to come in. Okay. Now for others of you where once again, you're not even thinking about getting into tarot. Okay. I feel like you're very stuck in your head here. You may think that people in the workplace are talking bad about you. You may be thinking about just giving up and, uh, you know, you may be feeling like there's no way for you to defend yourself against the people in the workplace that are trying to hurt you. People may be slandering your name. They may be throwing dirt on you here. Okay. But with the two of cups, I feel like where it matters, those people love you. So your bosses love you. Your managers love you. Your customers love you. So don't pay attention to people that are meaningless in the workplace. And that's whether you own a business or you are employed. If, if you, you know, th there's people that matter. I hate to say this. I don't mean to be rude, but there's people there that matter and people that just don't. Do you see what I'm saying? If all your higher ups love you, what do you care about what the janitor has to say? You understand that they don't sign your paycheck. You know, if you don't like me, look the other way. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you own a business, you could have a hundred customers that love you and that one customer that complains over something. Don't let it get to you because you're very much loved in the profession that in your place of work or as a business owner, you're very much loved where you are. Now for my cancer singles, we've got the five of pentacles. We have the king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and we've got the four of cups. We have the Three of Wands, we've got the Hierophant, and we've got the Queen of Swords. Okay, so Cancer, you may be leaving an Earth sign behind. Okay, I mean, this earth sign is in the upright, so I'm not really sure why you're leaving this person behind or rejecting them. But from what I'm seeing here is you're holding out for the real deal. Okay, now with the Hierophant there, it could be divine protection here with that Queen of Swords and the Hierophant. It could be that the divine is protecting you in order to, because you manifested something with that Three of Wands energy. It could be that literally God is protecting you to get you what you want. Tell me about this King, uh, the King of Pentacles with the two of pentacles it's either you were dealing with somebody that didn't know whether they wanted to commit to you or not or this could have been someone that you know was committed elsewhere or committed to you and juggling someone else they, they this person was just very up and down very up and down 
Yeah, and, and you know, with the Two of Wands and the Fool, you decided to free yourself. You decided to free yourself. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you decided to free yourself with the Hanged Man and the Four of Wands. I feel like you're going to wait until you find the one, even if it's hard for you to move on, even if it's hard for you to be alone or hard for you to be single. Yeah, look at this. We've got the Three of Cups, the Queen of wands the emperor and the seven of swords you were dealing with someone that was either married in a relationship um and you were the third party or vice versa either they were in a relationship with you and put you in a third party and no matter how hard it is for you cancer i feel like you're freeing yourself and you're freeing yourself due to divine intervention this is god's protection i mean i know we hear it all the time but this is like really real like you know rejection is god's protection here um so i feel like you're moving on and it is going to bring you towards what you're looking for okay so let's pull a rune for you guys and we are done okay spirit tell me about cancer may 9th please okay we've got word so it says here interconnection interconnectedness of past present and future so what spirit is telling you here is that Everything ties into everything. You went through, and this is what I was telling you here. You went through something so that in this present moment, it could affect the future. So this is an overall ascended understanding that we have to go through things. If you need to get to the mall and you know you leave your house and there's massive traffic, this, this, and that, you're over there, you're complaining, you have no idea what's going on, but then you get to the event of what caused the traffic and it's a five pile car, you know, a five pile accident, three people are dead. You come to an understanding that, you know, if you would have been there, you know, three minutes sooner or something, you could have it could have cost you your life do you understand so it, it's like that energy of understanding that everything is perfectly in place to where it's supposed everywhere everyone is exactly where they're supposed to be okay it's an understanding that everyone is exactly where they're supposed to be and everything is happening exactly the way it should and surrendering to that okay all right guys i love you all so very much i will see you guys soon take care my loves bye